Move It Monday is going to take it all to new heights, to a new level. Y'all are in for a treat, all right? I met Miss Kelly at the Steve White Audi event. Yes. She was the aerial yogaist. Is that the correct the term? Aerialist. Aerialist, okay. <laughs> what I mean was she was suspended from the sky in ways that I didn't even know was possible. And what? stayed wow. up there for like 20 minutes at a time. You could run away and join the circus and get a job. They tell me I should. <laughs> I mean, you see all these Cirque du Soleil, I mean, that's like basically what you're doing. It is. It's uh, one of the circus arts that's becoming more mainstream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you were saying, because Jack, you said... <laughs> What? You, you gave her a nice little compliment during the break when she was down in a, well, she in did a split. split. I said, I can do a split, a banana split, but I, don't, I can't do it. How do you do You were born freakishly limber. No. Uh, when I started yoga about 11 years ago, I couldn't put my heels flat on the floor and down dog. Did you touch your toes at that time? Well, I yeah, anyone can touch their oh, toes. funny. <laughs> yeah. This okay. is what we bought her. Yeah. Okay, I got, got a comedian little split thing. You got to see. This one? is what we were saying. This is how she was warming up. Just, just slide. Just Ow. slide. I'd get there and I'd be like, all right, little help. Yeah, that's easy. That and hurts it just, just and then you just you. go up. Oh, now you add insult to injury here. <laughs> how, like, well, how do you get like that, Kelly? Like, wh it's what? called stretching. <laughs> over and over and over again. Yeah, but can you yeah. lick your tongue? See? Oh, lick it. your tongue? <laughs> all right, that's all right. <laughs> no. Okay, I want to talk about this. So you, you stretch a lot. You have to. Good I look. I stretch on the ground. I stretch in the air. I stretch on top of people's feet with acro yoga. It's just a different way of moving. This uh, is some yeah. of the pictures, Jack, from that Audi. That's the safe line. Yes. I mean, well, so that's yeah. called an aerial hammock. What people are probably more familiar with are aerial silks. The two strands of that mm -hmm. same fabric come straight down. Is it parachute um, fabric or something? No, it's nylon, actually. They're called silks, but it's technically nylon fabric because it's stretchy and has a bit of a bounce, which is great for your back. Yeah, but you're not going to bounce when you drop off of it. Well, it's called a drop when you wrap up and then... Well, you know, uh, <laughs> you, you can make a living doing this. That's a real interesting. I do. I work for myself. I have my own business teaching this. Well, I, but I'm saying you could, you're an entertainer. Yes, I'm a performer now, form. and I hope to be performing around the city at events like that one. Right. I thought this was so cool because, one, it was something different. Like, not even thinking of the health and, and, and you know, workout aspects of it. Right. Just watching you do that, I was like, this is so cool. And what a neat idea to have at an event, you know? Just something yeah, a little bit different. But how did you get from doing, like, these awesome splits to be like, I'm going up, it's going to happen? Well, there's nothing like this in Greenville. I'm the only teacher. So for years, I was traveling around the country trying to do different trainings, and I was in New York, and I saw this studio with these orange things hanging in the ceiling, I thought, I have to try this. So I did, <laughs> and I was hooked, and I just follow that, and it wasn't here, so I had to train and bring it back. So you, do you have a studio? I do. do. teach out of, where is it? I do. It's inside the Swamp Rabbit CrossFit right on the trail. Um, it's Maya Movement Arts, and we do yoga and acro yoga, which is partner acrobatics, and aerial yoga. And these pictures are aerial dance. You won't be doing that your first class. Yeah, so don't worry. I mean, she seriously, we were there, and there were, you know, bigger people there, smaller people there, and you were saying anybody. Can get can can do this. I can get matter. anyone up in the silks. They have a tremendous weight load, and it's up to you and your curiosity and your willingness to try something different. But if somebody wants to come to your studio, you shouldn't feel intimidated. No. You're not necessarily going to teach that. No, right? the, no. Right. <laughs> yeah, tell people what they do. If they came to your class and this is their first time, they're like, I mean, I'm athletic. You know, I can kind of touch my toes. But uh -huh. what else? And even if you aren't, some people haven't worked out in years and they've seen this and they're curious about it and it looks like fun to them, and so it actually not like inspires on them. A treadmill or doing something no, it either. inspires them to actually start working out again. So I have all fitness types and literally we put the hammock at the back of our shoulder blades and sit into it and lift our knees up for the first thing. Oh wow, okay. So anybody can do that. You yeah. can lift your knees up. And it's this low. Yeah, you can there you go. Look. Right, I mean you know? Jack's I'm, I'm yeah, what, what do we have to do next? <laughs> Stop it. Don't push it. <laughs> <laughs> now we're getting crazy. Don't push it. <laughs> now we're getting crazy. So would they come every day for class? Is it like once a week? How does it work? I have five classes a week. Oh, wow. uh, Tuesday through Saturday, I believe, and okay. I'll add more in a bit, too. Um, I recommend coming twice a week just because you'll see more improvement that way, but yeah. you can come once, you can come four times, it's up to what you. What can we see you publicly again? Do you have a gig? Uh, I don't have one scheduled yet. I was supposed to perform at the juicery opening and their ceiling doesn't quite work for me. I think people see it and they're like, oh my God, I want that, it's amazing. And they're like, uh, and I'm you like, do? you're going to kill me. I have nothing to make <laughs> from. Yeah, she was going to do it here. We're still working on the way. We just needed a lift yeah. to get her up. Yeah, next well, time. it's been nice knowing you if it doesn't work out for <laughs> you down the line. Yeah, my mom thinks it's the same pleasure. thing. She can't watch my performances without 
having a heart attack. I bet, I, know, I bet she watches it like this. Yeah, like, are you mama. up? Are you up yet? Yeah. Poor mama. Well, yeah. you're so sweet. I know you're tired because you've been traveling. You just got back late last night. Were you late. doing training yes. there too? I saw some of your yes. pictures on Facebook. Austin is where I learned this, and my teacher out there opened her second location. Um, which she wanted me to manage, but I moved back here because it's my home, and yeah. I was out there to support her second location, grand opening performance party. Well, very cool. So, when, uh, the last question: When you're doing this stuff, are you using more upper body or core or a combination? You'll have to come find out. Okay, I want to well. see. Yeah, <laughs> we'll look at that for a tease. Okay, so can they just go to Facebook and do the Swamp Rabbit? Actually, go to my website. Yours? It's kvlmassage.com. I've just started Mind Body. You can find me on the Mind Body Connect app. It's very okay. easy to find me now. Okay. I'm cool. the only one, so just Google Ariel and Greenville and <laughs> Kelly. I would think you had a corner on the market. Exactly. Yes. And if you like yes. Starbucks, you can always find her at Starbucks. That's what I'm <laughs> I see you there a lot. That's where she got Kelly. that caffeine from. Yes. To do that whatever awesome. Issue. Thank you so much. And yes. I can't wait to have you back and yes, check in the ceiling. Very Thank cool. You. Thank, Thank you. you. That was fun. Hey, listen, 50